Hello, what's up? Let me clip the microphone on. What's up? You think I got a lot of lenses? You should see how many hard drives I've got. I've got well over 220 hard drives. Um, I've taken apart at least thousands of hard drives. This is a neat one. Both of these are the exact same hard drive. Notice how this one's clear? Hard drive platters used to be made, made out of tempered glass. See, now the actual uh, data um, retention layer is totally spun off this thing. It was actually powdered dust on the inside of the hard drive. This is the same drive as this. You can actually shine a light down there. This is a four platter drive and you can see right through it like a piece of uh, clear window glass. Same hard drive. You have the unique distinction and uh, I'll back this up 100% of talking to the guy that literally wrote the book on magnetism and knows more about data protection and the differentiation between backup, archive, and data protection than all other people making photography videos on YouTube. All of them combined. The guy that wrote the book on magnetism and the guy that knows more about protecting your data than everybody else in the photography community, digital uh, photography community on YouTube combined. So how useful is that? Check the link below and uh, if uh, I did a hundred revisions, you can actually check in the top. I think I did like a hundred and two revisions. I kept making it smaller and smaller and smaller. I wrote an article for Apple, Apple computers. I also write, uh, wrote the article for Apple on how to take care of your MacBook Pro and your MacBook Air also. But I wrote the article for Apple on uh, uh, backup methodology. It's called a methodology to protect your red data. So check that link on Apple's website. And it's about 10 pages long, roughly, maybe 12. Um, depends on what format it's in. And if you read that, you'll become a god of data protection. Now, um, I'm not going to refer to anybody specific. It's actually, I've never seen this guy's videos before at all. But uh, apparently, you know, he does some photography stuff. And everybody makes mistakes, so this is not about singling anybody out. Um, but this person said, uh, DVDs will not last as long as a hard drive will. What the hell? What? Now, if he's talking about, um, you know, the cheap crap you get at Best Buy, he's, he's still wrong. Because those typically... 12 to 20 years. If you buy like a pack of verbatims, they'll easily last you 40 years at uh, Best Buy. A good expensive pack of verbatim. I'm going to talk about something else in a second. Archival DVDs. You know, oh, no one wants to burn DVDs. Well, I'll get to that in a second, okay? So just hold your horses one damn minute. Now, the guy that knows more than everybody else on every photography channel on YouTube about data protection and the guy that literally wrote the damn book on magnetism are both one and the same guy. That is me. Um, you think I know a lot about lenses? Oh crap, I know a lot about hard drives, baby. I mean, a lot. I'm always up on hard drives like I'm always up on lenses. But, I don't trust them. They're evil. They want to destroy your data. And there's this neat little thing called ferromagnetic degradation. That means if you have the best server grade Western Digital Black drive, which I'll pick up here, right here, this is a 3 terabyte. You never want to get larger than that because they actually have, uh, issues uh, with balance and wobble and they become too big so you never want to get anything larger than a three terabyte drive but i discussed that in the article um, with the links below you get the best server grade hard drive and let's say you write two terabytes of data in it and you stick it in this and then you pop it back in your humidity controlled and temperature controlled safe your data is screwed totally foobarred within you know typically uh, ferromagnetic degradation starts you know, it starts immediately actually, but when uh, the error rate becomes uh, so much that uh, that uh, even the, the firmware that's actually written into these hard drives on the controller board, and these are old hard drives however, written on the controller board, it's called a partial response uh, permla. Partial response maximum likelihood, it interprets that. That means the ferromagnetic degradation has gotten so bad that the data cannot be read. And then you're screwed. In other words, you buy the absolute best hard drive with no defects, and you stick it in temperature and humidity controlled safe, you are screwed. You are screwed. I spent years and years and years listening to people that lost their jobs um, because uh, 
And some of these guys said, like, geez, you know, I got, you know, wife and kids to support. They lost their job because they had a, a single backup. But it wasn't even a backup. Because the first backup off your computer is not the first archive. Well, that's an archive. What's the difference between a backup and archive? Backup, archive, redundancy. And the first copy off your computer is not the proper backup. All data on the computer is just that, your data. By the way, your computer is not a data storage mechanism. You read the article, it will be abundantly clear. Well, of course my computer is a data storage device. Your computer is not a data storage device. If you think that, and like 99% of everybody out there thinks that, you are full of crap. You are just flat out full of crap. And this is the delusion that everybody suffers under. All data on the computer is just that. It's your data. All data on the first... I'm reading from my own article, by the way. All data on the first external hard drive is your backup. Primary. Only the second external hard drive is your first safe data redundancy. We're going to talk about backup, archive, redundancy. And then we're also going to talk about archival. Because even though I've got hundreds of hard drives, literally, i got... Well, and I'm talking about working ones, not dead ones. I mean, I've got a whole, you know, thing over there full of hard drive magnets that I yanked out. I'll sit there, you know, watch TV, unscrew hard drives. I mean, I got... These are really neat. These are great for uh, photography because the hard drive platters are uh, transparent. And they're transparent because the data, the, uh, the ferromagnetic layer that maintained that data is completely powderized and it got spun around the outside. So when I took it out, all that data all the data maintaining uh, ferromagnetic material actually just turned to dust and it slipped right off the platter. That's why this is clear and this looks, you know, mirrored. These were actually server grade hard drives or IBMs. You actually know that too. And you can see the difference here. You see this uh, aluminum coil here? This is a high speed server grade hard drive. That's aluminum. Aluminum has less mass. That means that the actual hard drive armature spins back and forth really quickly. There's less mass back here. Here is a non uh, server grade uh, hard drive armature uh, coil, voice coil, and it's made of copper. It's got a lot more mass than the aluminum does. Okay, That's the difference. You can spot there immediately. Hard drives are really simple. And here's something that was actually said. Um, that the more anybody knows about hard drives and how they work, the more you are convinced, you are amazed that they even work at all. This is a hardcore fact. The more you know about hard drives, when you open one of these up and you know how every little, and it's like, these are so simple. Oh, no, they're not. Well, we got a controller board back here and we got a SATA bridge card. Well, that's not a big deal. If you have a failure on a hard drive, this is an old hard drive. But if you have a failure on um, the controller board, let's look at a modern expensive server grade hard drive. This controller board down here, if you have a failure there, I can unscrew that and pop a new one on there. And the SATA bridge is the number one thing to fail. A lot of people think, this is a secret too, and I've got a video on this, and people are like, oh my god, you saved all my data. Um, countless tens of thousands of hard drives are thrown away each year because someone thinks, oh, the hard drive's dead. No, actually it's the SATA bridge. Like if you got an external USB hard drive, there's a little bridge card that fits right here. It looks like about the size of a pack of gum for like a, uh, a three and a half inch drive. Excuse me, a two and a half inch drive instead of a three and a half inch drive like this. And that's the part that failed. Nine, nine times out of ten, that's the part that failed. But, like I said, if you put a perfect, uh, a super expensive hard drive like this, one super expensive, as good as it gets, the best that money can buy, away in perfect humidity and perfect temperature, you are foobard. Foobard guaranteed starting right at about three years and things will whew. actually let me find the graph for uh, how things slide right off the cliff and you get an annual failure rate at four years of basically 12 percent that means you got a 12 percent chance at four years and it keeps getting worse that your data is whew, boom it's gone and uh, this other guy that's got a photography channel i mean uh, just made a video and uh, four people sent me an email i never even heard of this guy and, and he says, DVDs will not last as long as hard drives. No, you're wrong. These, by the way, are archival DVDs. Now, I'm going to clear, I'm going to clear the crap out between your ears in a second. Then you're going to go, then you're going to have a freaking epiphany. Oh my God, I get it. Um, let's, let's, let's state the facts here. Nobody likes to burn DVDs. Ah, oh, DVDs are old. And uh, when someone says that, I'm going to say, listen, bitch. 
Um, here's hard drives and here's DVDs that nobody likes to burn. Now, you're going to answer me a question. Name me one damn thing where your data is safe. Like, you know, you lock it away, you know, 10 years, 6 years, 20 years, 30 years. You name me one thing where you can do that with your data. Um, 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 I don't know. Well, it sure as hell isn't these, not hard drives. It's this and this only. This and this only! This is the same reason why Facebook, now super, super expensive, um, has invested in archival Blu-ray. Now, there are archival Blu-ray. Now, commercial Blu-ray burners are very expensive. You know, the uh, consumer-grade ones are not that reliable. They're really crappy. This is why I'm still talking about DVDs instead of Blu-rays. Um, there's also an article, uh, section in my article about why you need to be using DVD plus R's and not minus R's. So, epiphany number one, nobody likes to burn DVDs. And then you tell a person, it's like, I don't give a crap whether you like to burn DVDs or not. The point is, is that your data is foobarred on every platform that you can think of. Every damn one except for this. Every one, you are foobarred. Well, it takes too long, and, you know, they, 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 that's, that's like only a single layer disk, and it's 4.7 gigabytes. Yeah, you're right. You know what these are for? I know how big RAW files are. I've got, I have my own personal collection, just PDF books, not pictures, just PDF books. I've got 14 terabytes of PDF books. Terabytes. You think I'm burning them all in DVDs? No, I'm not. Now, there's a lot of stuff that I've created scanned in, I've put in countless thousands of hours, stuff that, you know, I'm not going to lose 20 years of my life by having my crap on, well, why not have two of them? Because electromagnetic pulse will take it out. Well, why not stick it on an external server? Because there's still these things. And if you forget to pay them or something happens and, you know, you forget about it, poof, stuff is gone. The only place where the data is safe is on this and this alone. Nobody likes to burn DVDs. Nobody. The point is, the only place where your data is protected archivally is on these damn things. The absolute only place. That's the only place. Nobody likes to burn DVDs. These are rated for over 100 years. That means I can stick these in the safe inside of a Ziploc or a double Ziploc. You know, 20 years later, my crap is still safe. Or after I kick the bucket, my crap that I've spent year after year after year after year making is still safe. The entire premise of these, and this is a $40 stack. 100 discs. I'm not selling these. You know damn well I'm not selling them. Oh, you're selling something. I'm not selling a damn thing. 4.7 times 100. How many gigs is that? Yes, you know how many. What these are for, this is exactly what these are for. This is for the stuff where you go, Oh crap, there is no way in hell I can lose this data. Okay, it is not for like, oh, all my pictures need to go on there. No, you need multiple uh, hard drive backups and redundancies. And the data on your computer is not the first. The first copy off the computer is the first. Okay, we need to go on to uh, video number two here in a minute to uh, get in the particulars of this and explain things so people understand what the hell is going on. Um, hard drive warnings what you need to do as far as your hard drive is concerned. Data redundancy, where it begins at, I've already mentioned that. Simplex rule that I created, it's called BAR, Backup Archive Redundancy. Okay, backup, active data, emergency uh, restore, uh, backups are moved uh, from uh, backup to archives, or from uh, backups to the computer for restore of data retrieval. Archive, active and static data protection with the highest level of redundancy. Archives are only moved from itself Two archived copies, generally a long-term retention at Nexus. Redundancy, a fail-safe off-site protection and frozen copy of your vital data and foolproof protection against magnetic degradation and hard drive mechanical failure. Uh, a likewise fail-safe from theft, house fires, you know. When you can say, um, my hard drive died and your data is still safe, then you're doing good. Okay, here's something better. When you can say, all my hard drives died and my house burnt down to the dirt, but my data is still safe. It's off-site, or it's in a firebox in the house, or both preferably, then you're doing good. If you could say, the entire United States slipped off the earth and my data is still safe, like I can, I got my crap in servers in Romania, Russia, and uh, over uh, in China.
then your data is safe. And what are we talking about? I'm talking about really important data or fluffy frou-frou? Well, it depends on what you think about your pictures. I mean, you've spent a bazillion dollars on lenses and cameras, and you've got like, well, I've got my, dad, my stuff on my computer, and i got one backup. You know, I keep up my pictures right here. This is what most people say. I got, I got my pictures right here in this hard drive. Well, you are screwed. You are just flat out screwed. You think that's a statement? I have heard hundreds of people. I'm um, uh, still number, I used to be number one in the world, and you can verify it over on uh, Discussion to Apple Gob. Number one person in the world for answering tech support questions on MacBook Air, used to repair uh, compact HP laptops. I, all these people come over, oh my god, all my stuff on my uh, backup hard drive uh, was dead. It's like, uh, you only had one copy of your dad off your computer? Yeah, well, that's not a backup. Uh, that's a copy off the computer. The, anything that's on the computer does not count as one copy. If it's on the computer, it doesn't count at all. And if you read my article, you'll understand that, and you'll have an epiphany, and you go, oh my god, that makes so much sense. Yes. Anything that's on the computer is not safe. It's not safe at all. The next thing is compartmentalized. It's called, what I've called card. I came up with this some many, many years ago. Card. Compartmentalized autonomous redundancy of data. Check that out in the article and read what card stands for. Uh, let's go on to video number two and then we'll explain the particulars and then you'll have a little epiphany, or at least I hope you will, because you spent a crap load on camera gear and uh, all of your important data is sitting on one damn $80 hard drive and you are screwing up royally. Okay, and then we're going to talk about archives versus backups. We'll make things really clear. Okay, bye.